Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome to a brand new video that I thought I would never film. This is about an Instagram trend called Squiggly Eyebrows made by the one and only Promise here on YouTube who is like a legend. She is so great at makeup and like other people like my friend Buddy did a video like this and I thought why not try it out, see if I could do it and don't mind my hair because it's literal garbage today because it's like 100 degrees here in LA and if you hear background noise of like the windows and like the outdoors of crickets which actually calms me down it is actually because it's 90 something degrees at night and I have to have a window open I have no AC anyways enough of the chit chat let's get started with this tutorial I am not going to make my eyebrows completely flat because I want some of the brow hairs to show in the actual design of the eyebrow so what I am going to do though is cancel out my eyebrow hairs like the color not the texture and as you can see, I did my foundation and other makeup today, but I did not do my eyebrows just yet. So I'm going to do that. I'm blending this out, which doesn't seem to be working as well. Maybe if I use a brush. Because if I use a wet, damp beauty blender with foundation already on, it doesn't really work out that well. Okay, now it's time for the concealer. So what do you guys think of this trend? Oh my gosh, when I saw Promise post this on Twitter, I thought it was genius and I actually really like it. Not for everyday wear, I know it freaks a lot of people out, but for a party, totally for like a Halloween party, especially if there's like a Tim Burton themed Halloween party. Oh my gosh, it looks like I just bleached my brows, which I'm not mad about. So this is what I would look like with bleached brows. What y'all think? <laughs> Let's just powder this baby down before applying our brow products. I used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation today. Love it. Gonna use the Benefit Precise Brow. Don't know if that really matters what brow product it is because it's such a weird makeup. But oh, and I got the Kat Von D mirror because it's so affordable that I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if it's sold out yet, but it's definitely for sale to the public and I've been waiting on this mirror and I'm just drawing on the design of the brow. I should get some heavy duty cream concealer. This is the Poise Multitasking HD Cream. And I'm just going to carve out my brows in a very different way than usual. Oh my gosh. It's happening guys, it's starting. I don't know why, but this eyebrow reminds me of Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. I'm lucky because my brows are already kind of thin. Asian girl problems. It's coming together. I'm so excited. If I achieve this, oh my gosh. It's gonna be so interesting. Let me do the other side. But what's another trend that's been like really popular and that a lot of people don't understand? I feel like there's so many. I still don't understand the one that's like Ugg boots with booty shorts or a skirt. It is literally, I'm sweating. Look at my hair when it attaches like tentacles to my neck. That's when you know the heat is real. And I'm sitting here. Worth it to hang out with y'all. Uh, I feel like Tina from Bob's Burgers <laughs> every time it's hot. Like, it just, it doesn't put me in a much of a bad mood is like stress from work sometimes. But it's definitely up there at annoying things. Again, what I'm using is the Poise Multitasking HD Creams, and they make great full coverage concealers. Oh my gosh, I got... <laughs> How fun! <laughs> Yay! Don't you just love makeup, people? It transfers and ruins your life. No, my life's not ruined, but it's pretty... Messed up that that happens sometimes. I've been loving this palette. This is the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean. That's as good as it's gonna get. Let's put some highlighter on top of that to hopefully make it less stand out. I'm just filling in certain portions that I know I want. Squiggly. This totally reminds me of something. You guys remember those shoelaces? I don't know if you're born in this era, but in the 90s they had these shoelaces that were squiggly and it made it so you didn't have to really tie your shoes. That was the dream life, man. Oh my gosh, I miss those shoelaces. I wish I could still have them. This eyebrow is not come out as cute as this one. This eyebrow, even with regular eyebrows that aren't squiggly and weird, this one always comes out cuter than this one. 
Okay, so once we have the outline of the brows, I'm gonna get my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and start filling this in. Do you guys remember, well, the Peacock Eyebrow? I wanted to do a video on that and I never did. Maybe I should. We'll see how this video goes over. I feel like for makeup artists, this is like triggering to them <laughs> because it's so against like what they were probably taught and or learned themselves over the years. And then I'm getting into the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer because it's a little bit darker on me than the other one I was using. I feel like I'm drawing like a weird creature on my brows. Really trying to hone in on the, does anyone remember the show Saved by the Bell? The intro, I used to sing it all the time after school when I watched it. And they had all these like really quirky decorations in the intro title scene when I was really into like graphic design and I feel like this is so shown in the Saved by the Bell intro. My boyfriend is not looking forward to seeing this. He's like a fourth year videos I'm terrified of and everything else I like. And I'm like, oh cool, great. Thanks for the support. Thanks, babe. I feel like this dip right here I'm having a little triple whiff. Okay, let's move on to the other eyebrow. I feel like in the 1920s, if they were super creative, even though, you know, they were, like the makeup looks with the thin eyebrows, this would have been like the hot thing back then. I could so see this in a Tim Burton movie. Just say, ooh, that's a, that's a lot of dip brow girl right here, like caked up on me. I look so confused. What is my life? I feel like I got stuck in a weird time warp during Back to the Future where everyone wears squiggly eyebrows and they DIY all their makeup with cocoa powder and other random things. This is so gonna be an episode on Rick and Morty that would be amazing. I love that show. Does anyone else obsessed with that show? Some of my friends, they don't like it and some of them love it. Either love it or hate it and I love it. Let me know what other makeups you guys would love to see. Not just like weird stuff like this, but like full transformations of characters. If sweating made me lose weight, oh my gosh. Girl, I would be anorexic looking right now. We're getting places. <laughs> I feel like a french fry advertisement. Oh, Cindy, what have you done with your life at your high school reunion? Oh, you have a family, a loving family and a home and a house you bought and own with your husband and beautiful children? This is what I do. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I need a life, <laughs> friends, so I won't be stuck at home doing this by myself. But I also need a fine tip brush to really hone in on this detail. And my Asian family wanted me to be a nurse. This is what I became. Does anyone else remember the trend of the seat belt belts? They were like belts in early 2000s, I think it was. And they were they looked like seat belts off an old truck. And they sold them at like the surf shops, like Vans and Tillys. Maybe it was just a Californian thing, but we had that everywhere when I was younger. These remind me of Squidward's arms from SpongeBob. Not gonna lie, I don't know why. And my accounting teacher said, art would get me nowhere. Mr. Noggle, did I prove you wrong? And then my art teacher's like, you're our most successful student. <laughs> I make my eyebrows and makeup look confused. They look like mustaches, honestly. Like mustache decals literally glued to my eyebrows. So this is my squiggly eye tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is just, you know, in jokes, in fun. I hope no one super takes this seriously or super hates on this video. Only because, you know, I just thought it'd be fun to do. I know I could have done like a movie makeup of like some sort of character you all love, but I just really wanted to have fun and it is literally blazing hot outside. So I wanna do something quick and fun just to make me laugh. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below, again, like I said, of any makeups you would love to see me do, you know, other than stuff like this, of movie characters or anything. I cannot wait to start on Halloween videos. I know I say it's coming up, but it is two months away now, maybe? A little less than that? But it's like Christmas for me. Literally, Halloween's my favorite time of year, even though I don't get to celebrate it because I'm always working. But not complaining. 
You guys could subscribe for more videos other than this kind that is like makeup transformations, a full character, some beauty makeups and chats. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I am everywhere haunting you with my brows. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I will see you in another video, hopefully when it's not as hot and we could seriously do some awesome makeup. Not like this isn't awesome. I think it's cool. Even though it looks like I have mustaches, it's eyebrows. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.